Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. I personally use Squarespace for my online portfolio at jaredpoland.com because it's simple, affordable, and I don't need to know coding. Now, now is the perfect time to build or redo your website. Why? Because I said so, you should take the time. Head on over to squarespace.com slash photo to get your 14 day free trial. If you decide it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, many of you know that I've coined the term hashtag don't be an asshole in reference to leaving gear in your car. And if you leave gear in your car, guess what? You're an asshole. Well, I think I need to extend that hashtag to the Florida man who thought it was a good idea to pay $150 for a full contact experience with a black leopard in a cage because how could that go wrong? <laughs> the experience was supposed to include playing with the leopard, petting its murder button, AKA its stomach. And finally, what makes this photo newsworthy is he was also supposed to be able to take pictures. Now I bet you can see where this is going. Okay. The man entered the cage, petted the cat, got his photo and left without incident. Right. Oh right, except he didn't. He got fed up. Why you may be asking? Because he's an asshole. Wait, wait, did I just victim blame? Why yes, yes I did. Because if you're dumb enough to go into a backyard zoo ran by this guy named Pogi, you my friend are an asshole. Look, I don't wanna see anyone get hurt and this person was really hurt. His scalp was said to be hanging from his head and his right ear was torn off. Well, maybe he should take up painting instead. Nonetheless, he is suing Pogi for damages, and though I would like to say I'll let you know what the outcome is when there is one, but you all know this story will never be updated because it's Florida. Oh, in Florida. And I'm not gonna apologize to the people who watch me in Florida, because why? Because it's Florida. 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 Next up, who here wants to shoot at 4,500,000 ISO? I do. I do. The answer is someone does because Canon just released a few new full frame cameras called the ML-100 and 105 that can do exactly that by capturing full HD color video with a subject illumination of less than 0.005 lux, which is amazing, isn't it? I guess it would be if I knew what the hell 0.005 lux actually meant. Oh, phone call. Hello? Oh, it's Roberta L. with Canon USA. Oh, okay, so it's 4.5 million ISO. Thanks, Roberta L. So what's a usage for a camera just like this? Christy. Well, Canon says with the ability to capture low light images, these multi-purpose cameras can be utilized in industrial system design, where Canon says seeing color images is critical during day and night. If you think this camera is for you, get ready to fork over upwards of $30,000. Phone call. Hello? Oh, it's Madeline K with Nikon PR. You'd like to place an order for two of these cameras for your OnlyFans videos? Okay, done. Introducing the Pied Piper I Shoot Raw shirt. Now, if you know, you know. Head on over to store.fronosphoto.com to pick up your limited edition I Shoot Raw Pied Piper shirt. Looks like a guy sucking a and he's got another duck behind his ear for later, like a snack. Next up, Sony must really be hurting in Japan because they're offering a buy one camera, get one camera free. Now, before you accuse me of clickbait, which this actually is, yell at the right person, Sony, not me. Keep in mind, this offer is only good in Japan and you're not in Japan unless you're actually in Japan. If you purchase an A7 or A9 camera before November 30th, you will score this mini Sony A7R2 with 24 to 70 or 100 to 400 millimeter lens. First off, I don't want your stupid out of date A7R2 Sony, even if it's mini. Now, if it were a mini A9, maybe I would reconsider. What? It's a slow news week, deal with it. You sound like you're making excuses. And finally, Canon's unleashed two more RF lenses. Oh great, more expensive glass. I can't wait to see the price tag on these bad boys. The first lens is priced at $199. Wait. Well, that can't be right. Is that right? Yeah. 
it's 199 bucks. Introducing the Canon RF 50 millimeter 1.8 plastic fantastic. Though I'm not sure what it's made of just yet as I don't have one in my hand, so maybe it's not made all of plastic. Now this is by far the cheapest RF glass available to date and honestly, it is a must have if you don't have a 50 1.2 RF already or two, you don't have $2,300 to spend on one. Is this going to be an amazing lens? Probably not, but it's certainly going to be a good enough lens for those who own an EOS R and an RP, which were recently on sale for a good amount of money off. Now the second lens Canon introduced is the RF 70-200 f4L, which Canon says is 11% lighter and 32% shorter than the EF version. Now keep in mind the EF lens had internal zooming, which made it longer, and this one, like the 70-200 2.8, will extend as you zoom. But hey. When the lens is the size of a can of Coke or Pepsi or Buzz Cola, it might be well worth it. I wonder if Canon's gonna sell these lenses in a vending machine. Trademark 2020 me. Trademark. Don't try to steal it. Despite its dainty size like Dan's arms, this lens will still set you back $1,600, which is $1,000 less than the 2.8 version. Now, I'm personally not a fan of F4 lenses as I prefer 2.8 or better, but if size and weight are more of a concern for you, this might be a solid zoom option to put in your bag. It's nice to see Canon starting to bring out more affordable RF glass now that they have out a ton of pro glass. Now, what's needed next is Sigma making RF glass, because then it would truly be more affordable. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.